so for today, um, it's about to start raining outside, so not really going to go out and shoot anything out there. Um, instead, I've got the tent, the photo tent set up, the little booth thing that I just got, and we're going to kind of play around with uh, that for this evening because, well, why not? I haven't used it that much, and I want to use it, and we'll see if we can figure out some things together about how these things actually work best. Um, so as of right now, it is set up here, um, and here actually. Let me do this. So what we're looking at is we have one LED strip at the back, another LED strip here at the front, and then this black backdrop is clipped up in the top there, and then it flows down, and then we've got to stick it into the front. But you have the reflective sides of everything in here. Um, that kind of just bounces all the light around, which is really great. And then the nice thing with this one also is, is I do have the option to shoot straight down through the top here. So what we're doing right now is I've got a different product in the light booth with right now. It is, and I'll show you what it is. It is my good people growler. Um, so, you know, the thing with a lot of these um, that I've, I've been noticing as I'm doing more and more of these is making sure that the surface is clean. Um, I live with two dogs and, and a bunny and a wife and so there's constantly pet hair and everything everywhere so definitely got to be careful about that um, you know some of that yes you can take out in Photoshop um, but realistically that's just a lot of extra work and I'd rather get it right in camera so we're gonna try and do this we're gonna do some tests here we'll uh, pop off a couple shots see what it looks like um, I do still have the black backdrop in inside right now and you know that just tells me that yes I'm gonna have to you know Photoshop the backup and everything out but what I would like to do is continue to test with this and then eventually build a larger one okay so we're moving on from the good people growler bottle and I'm gonna mess around with something a little bit different this is um, one of the red lenses that my business partner has that are all here at my house. Um, so I'm going to set this in there. We're going to kind of play with this and see if we can get some really cool stuff because it has more of a matte black finish. Um, but then you have the large you know, glass on the center, which this is the 50 millimeter, so it's not as big of a glass piece on the front um, and the back. But we're going to leave the back end cap on. We're going to set this in there and see if we can get something kind of cool. cheat put a C47 behind it see if we can prop the end the back end up and not see the C47 so yeah we still see it a little bit but it's okay that we can kind of tweak out later so let's get this going down in here let's see if we so right now, um, I've got the box and everything right here. How I'm lighting myself for the GoPro recording is I've got a little small on-camera light that's a uh, mix, daylight and tungsten kicking here. I've got two of my Draycast 500s that are um, daylight balanced are just giving a little bit in the room. And then I also have the overhead, which is giving kind of a weird little uh, mix of uh, warm light and very cool light uh, in this room but I think it's working fairly well so I still have some skin tones um, and you know just some daylight but it is definitely a little bit and then of course there's always the Christmas tree that's that's up year round uh, I'm sorry holiday tree it is a holiday tree it changes depending on what we're doing and we're getting kind of close to Halloween so I should probably get ready to change that over um, but yeah that's that's this little setup here as you can kind of see, and you can see in the GoPro, um, you know, that's, that's, that's our future. And I was not recording audio during any of that. <laughs> There's the audio. I'm a smart guy, but hopefully the audio will work there and not here. It's a bad habit that I have with this uh, microphone is that I have to turn it on and off manually. And I constantly forget to turn it off. And so then I constantly forget to turn it on, 
when I'm switching very quickly back and forth. And yeah, that's kind of embarrassing, but hey, you know what? That is what it is. So that's what we've been doing today is doing a little bit of this photography stuff, um, just kind of messing around. I was doing a bunch of editing earlier today, um, you know, and then went to lunch with the wife. And, you know, it's just, it's been a good day. Um, I have gotten a lot done, was really wanting to play more with the photo booth and everything, but I've kind of, you know, tapped out right now on ideas uh, with what to shoot. And I've done some shoots in there, so now i got to go edit those and uh, see what kind of worked, what didn't work. And then I might come back and uh, I think I'm gonna mess around with the white backdrop or the gray and see how that looks. But this was a great investment uh, in my opinion. Uh, it's gonna be something that I use quite frequently uh, in the future, hopefully, um, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, that's that's today's and uh, thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. And you know what? I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.